Similar to more recent Konami sports titles, Power Pro Baseball 2020 has received an update to help keep the game relevant to gamers as well as keep it in line with the company's two-year release cycle for their sports titles. Now, there are quite a few things to go over here with some pretty big additions and some smaller ones as well. Fortunately for you guys, that's where we come in. Here, we're going to let you know why you can't go wrong picking up Power Pro Baseball 2020 in 2021. So, let's just go ahead and take a look. Danny from the Famicast here, now celebrating 10 years of gaming goodness. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Leave a comment below and we may read it out on our bi-weekly show called the Famicast. Now today though, we're taking a look at the 2021 update for Power Pro Baseball 2020 on the Nintendo Switch. So the first thing you should know is that when you boot up the game after the update, you'll now be greeted with the ability to choose either between the 2020 or the 2021 rosters. I mean, here you will, of course, be able to play as all the drafted rookies, assigned uh, players as of January 31st, 2021. And even Masahiro Tanaka is making his return to the game to coincide with his re-signing to the Rockton Eagles. Now, some notable rookies and players have also received updates here, so be on the lookout for uh, these players in the game, for example, the Hanshin Tigers, Teruaki Sato, the Yomiuri Giants, Takayuki Kajitani, and the SoftBanks Hawks, Shuta Ishikawa. Now, you, Darvish, will also be making return to Power Pros with a special character that Darvish himself actually had a hand in creating. Now, the current Padres pitcher, like I said, he helped with deciding the pitch types here for the character and included a new pitch called the Supreme. Now, kind of what this is and what it sounds like, I haven't actually got to try it out yet myself, but rather than focusing on striking batters out with this pitch, the pitch specializes in basically forcing hitters to ground out. This awakened Darvish as it's kind of being billed here. Uh, it's actually supposedly the strongest player to ever be introduced into the series and will be available in the in-game shop for 10,000 power points. Now the in-game character for Kenta Maida, now playing for the Minnesota Twins, will also see a bit of an upgrade here as well, dubbed Ideal Maida. The new update brings an up-to-date pitching, like a pre-pitching routine for the player. Now, while all the stuff I just said is basically the, the big things to come to this update, there still are a few other things here as well. So some things like, you know, there's a balance adjustment for right fielders having a lower probability of making bad throws to first after certain kinds of hits. Some of that stuff's been fixed. Um, adjustments to pick off their accuracy, some batting cursor adjustments, and other general bug fixes here were also made. Now, on top of this, rankings set in the 2020 version of the game do not carry over to 2021. Now, there are other things like this as well, and will probably make for a bit of a boring video uh, for me just to go through them one by one. So I'd say if you guys have a question about any of this type of stuff in the game, just feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer your questions in a timely and accurate manner. Now I should note here too that the ballparks themselves did not receive any updates here either. They're still based on the 2019 builds, which is actually the first year the game appeared on the Switch. So maybe there's some kind of coincidence there or something, I don't know. But so if you're looking forward to checking out some of the additions made to stadiums, such as the recent renovations made to MetLife Dome, uh, the home of my favorite team, the Saitama Masebu Lions, you might find yourself a little bit disappointed here. But other than that, there's still quite a lot of stuff that was updated. Now, 2021 is a great year to jump into Power Pro Baseball 2020. The recent updates can get current owners of the game to die back in and potential buyers a reason to drop some cash on it. Of course, there's quite a bit of Japanese to go through, but there is a lot of fun to be had here. Now, if you want to see more about Power Pro 2020 as just like a game, be sure to check out our review, which you can find linked up in the description box below. But let's kind of turn things over to you guys. Do you already have Power Pro 2020 on the Switch or on the PS4? Did you try out the 2021 update yet? What's your favorite mode in the game? Be sure to sound off in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. As always. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to drop this video a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, looks at Japanese baseball games like this, and a whole lot more. Again, this is Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.